Okay, gentlemen, let's talk about the big secret to working less hours. Let's do this. Okay, my friends, time to clear something up. It's on the back of a conversation with one of the smart, ambitious men that we've got here inside of the Alliance. A debriefing around a Sunday success email that went out, I think it was about two weeks ago, on the topic of death, bed, regrets, and the one where I stated that I now only work 20 to 30 hours a week. Now, here's the problem. It appears that this particular daily declaration was taken as a challenge to down tools and become work shot. It wasn't. So let me clear things up and let me clarify. See, if you read that email again, the full statement was this. I choose to be ruthlessly fucking productive for 20, maybe 30 hours a week. Now, it seems for some of the most instructive and vital words in that mantra for money did not sink in. Those words, ruthlessly productive. Or in other words, for those four to six hours a day, I'm a fucking workaholic and probably do more in that time than most of the mass mediocre majority can muster in 20, 60, 70, maybe even 80 hours a week because I refuse to accept distractions in any way, shape or form. My phone is off, my tasks are allocated and my day is scripted, which means my friend shit has a start time, shit has an end time and shit gets done. There is no deviation there can't be. You see, men like you and I, at the cold face of capitalism, we do not have that luxury. Because for me, well, Barney needs to be picked up from school at 3.30 p.m. That means that shit needs to be done, dusted, and out of the door by 3 p.m. come hell or high water. The point being this, I do not and I will not advocate being work sharp. It's a state of dishonor, not a quality that self-made men like you and I should strive for. Work ethic, however, my friends, is. It's a discipline steeped in honor and courage. And as the great Jocko willing states in extreme ownership, discipline equals freedom. After all, when you have the discipline to drop the fucking distractions, you have the power to do more in less. While well, some call the first steps to becoming truly free. Probably why the for most men that step behind the curtains of their first 90 day strategic strike inside of this environment is like a baptism of fucking fire and is so powerful because it starts to force discipline direction without the distraction. The key to the kingdom for any man of value when it comes to starting to get more results. More on that at the one forward slash discover dash more.